In June, the attempted rebellion against Russian President Vladimir Putin by the Wagner Group, a private military company, was unsuccessful. Putin effectively quelled the uprising using his strategies. Now, in response, he replaced the leader of the Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, with Andrei Nikolaevich Trashev. Even when, Prigozhin's bid to take over Russia's authority failed, Putin met with Prigozhin and reportedly suggested appointing Andrei to lead the group. There are reports suggesting that Prigozhin might have been murdered by Putin's group, as stated by U.S. ex-General Robert B. Abrams. But, who is this Trashev? Andrei Trashev, a retired Russian colonel and co-founder of the Wagner Group, was born in St. Petersburg in 1953. He is mostly known as Sidoy or Grey Hair. According to EU documents, he served as the chief of staff of the Wagner Group in Syria, supporting the Bashar al-Assad government. He also remained active in Syria's Der Ezizor region. He is the one of the influential figure in Russia upon whom United States imposed economic sanctions. He served as the commander of the Special Operations Command SOBR of the Russian Interior Ministry and was awarded the Red Star Medal twice for his duties in Afghanistan. In 2016, he received the highest Russian military award, the Hero of Russia, for combating the Islamic State in Syria. As per the prologue of the incidents, in June, the Wagner Group launched an operation towards Moscow after entering border areas near Ukraine. Putin promptly deployed loyal Russian military forces to suppress the rebels. During this time, Prigozhin left Russia and went to Belarus. President Lukashenko claimed to mediate a compromise between Moscow and the Wagner Group, but Prigozhin is not in Belarus, leaving uncertainty about his whereabouts. The Institute for the Study of War suggested that Putin made a theatrical rebellion to empower Prigozhin. In an audio message, Prigozhin stated that the Wagner Group's mission was a protest against President Putin's government and military conduct, not a rebellion. In the current situation, the Russian intelligence agency, the Federal Security Service, stated that they have evidence of participants in the rebellion ceasing their criminal activities. Putin reportedly aims to position Andre as a replacement for the once loyal Prigozhin. However, there are doubts within Russia that even Andre may follow the path of a rebel.